All right, GitHub Roaster. All right, so we're, we're about to roast my profile, so let's check this out. Let's check this thing out. The Prime Gen, more like the Prime for disappointment. <laughs> Hurts a little bit. With a bio as empty as your social life and a company name that sounds like a scam, it's no wonder you follow three people. You can only take so much exposure to real talent. All right, to be completely fair, follower counts is absolutely stupid. GitHub, the social platform, is ridiculous. What is what what is that? What what is the purpose of this? How do you even follow there? Turns out you can follow. Look at me. I'm 23rd most followed person on the planet. In the ninth ring of Vim, as the CEO of the startup, like it's not even real. This is just—it's what the hell is happening here? Following is wild. I don't even get it. Oh, CEO of the startup, yeah, keep dreaming, buddy. Your repos have more issues than a soap opera, <laughs> a telenovel. Okay, buddy. And the only thing more overrated than your greatest plugin since Vim, uh, Vim sliced red, is your is your inflated follower count. Time to refactor your ego, chief. <laughs> First off, Harpoon is great. Okay, to take a shot at Harpoon, that's mean. Okay, that's actually that's actually mean. Can we all agree that Harpoon actually is one of the one of the best things ever? Harpoon is B tier. B tier? Oh. Oh, B tier? Really? Oh, this is Harpoon. Right here. It's just pinning files. Pinning files and uh, cursor locations. That's why when I go here, it's right here cuz that's where I last last quit. Harpoon 2 uh, Abandonware. Harpoon 2 is uh, fully complete. I just have no reason to to finish it. GitHub is not a social network. It has more pull requests than OnlyFans. We are MITing Twitch chat. We're, we're MITing, sorry, Twitch chat, MIT. Free and open source chat. Everybody knows that. Thank you very much for that delicious tweet. I will now, I will now literally collect 10 cents from that tweet. You just gave me a dime, little dime piece right there. Look at it go. Look at the thing fly. Okay, we're flying, boys. This is a good one. You can just tell right away that this one's going to be a good one. Lane's Roast. Okay, let's see Lane's Roast. Wegs Lane, GitHub Roast. Lane Wagner, huh? A Go fanatic who tolerates JavaScript and Python? Yeah, it actually sounds really... This actually is a very accurate description of Lane. Sounds like a self-imposed exile from real programming languages with 31 repos, including a personal blog that has fewer stars than a toddler's art project. <laughs> It's clear you're uh, you're hoping to become an influencer, but with just let's see, but with just one follower for your blog, that dream might be washed up as your JavaScript skills. Damn, learning Rust and Vue.js. Good luck. By the time you learn it, everyone will have moved on to something even more exciting. I mean, actually, that this is actually a really sad state of the, the affairs that even the LLMs see how fast things are changing. That if you say you're learning a technology, it can roast you by saying that a new framework is going to come out before you learn it. Like that's, I don't know how I feel about that. I'm not even sure if this is a roast on Lane or is it a roast on the web dev community? Who's being roasted right here? Remember, Lane is, it's not the qual quantity of repositories, but the quality. And yours are more meh than wow. Keep your podcast going. It's the only place your ideas might actually get some attention. Wow, it knows about the podcast. Damn. Damn, that, this, is, this is awful. Poor, poor Wegs Lane. All right, all right. Let's do. Let's do a uh, uh, Li Linus. By the way, if they've done this correctly, this will say nothing. It knew. It absolutely knew. This is so good. Oh, because, dude, you know you couldn't do it. Do Theo? Okay, what's Theo? Theo Brown, or should I say T3.GG, is living proof that being here for the vibes is not a valid excuse for producing a cavalcade of mediocre repos. <laughs> being here for the vibes. <laughs> With a staggering 103 public repositories managed to conjure up a collection so devoid of substance it makes a diet soda look like a hearty meal. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, it's so brutal. Uh, dude, I'm so happy they did not mention my uh, my repository count because, dog, I'm sitting at way too many repositories. Woof, woof. Uh, you're the CEO of ping.gg, more like the chief procrastinator of TypeScript fraternity. <laughs> Doesn't even make any sense. What the hell does that even mean? Your stargazer count fluctuate uh, like a teenager's mood swings. 29 on a vote and a whopping 389 on chirp. 
How does one go from barely scraping a star to being to- the talk of the town? Probably a well-timed meme about your Pokemon obsession hinted by your r- roundest, roundest mon repository. Dang, going after Pokemon? Dang. Clearly, your commitment to serious coding mirrors that of a kid who plays with Legos on the weekends. Dude, dude usually you get like one paragraph. This uh, feels on the paragraph three right now. You claim residence in San Francisco, but with repos like Drizzle Play that have fewer stars than a toddler's drawing. Oh, they have already used that joke. Oh, boo. Same joke. It seems you're in a self-induced exile from legitimate code contributions. Your bio screams, I'm only here for attention with nearly 10,000 followers. It's a case of quantity over quality. Who needs a dude again? They've already made this joke. Who needs impactful code when you can just ride the coattails of vibes? Am I right? <laughs> Dude, fourth section. Oh, man, Theo got four sections. Honestly, with all those open issues lurking around, it feels like your GitHub is more of a graveyard for forgotten ideas than an innovative portfolio. Hey, to be completely fair, mine is a graveyard, and I have no no qualms about it. Time to either jump into the code or keep vibing, though only one of those options is going to impress beyond your charismatic facade. All right, we'll do one more. What about Fireship? Jeff, Jeff Delaney. AKA Cody Odio, DAO, the self proclaimed GDE and creator of Fireship Limited Liability Corporation, with a location boasting desert heat in Phoenix, Arizona. It's fitting because browsing your repo feels like wandering in a barren land. <laughs> Man, you've got 21,000 followers likely tuning in for your constant self promotion rather than your undercooked code. <laughs> My boy, my boy, Fireship, what did they do? A grand total of 65 pu- pu- public repositories. You can't even manage the issues piling up uh, like the Phoenix trash heap. Your Svelte Fire repo claims to cybernetically enhance apps, but it's more like cybernetically enhanced open issues. 66, really? Rector DB has 87 open issues. Let's be honest. Rect seems like fitting for this dumpster fire. Oh my gosh, that's a great one. That was a great. Oh, that was good. Gimme sticker and get sticker because surely trading PRs for stickers is the epitome of code quality with 30, 330 open issues on the first, let's see, on the first and a meager 10 stars on the second. Bravo. Your code, let's see, your code this not that JS should be renamed code this mess not that train wreck. Bottom line, Jeff, the only fire around here is the dumpster fire of unmaintained repos and egotistical boosts. Phoenix might rise from the ashes, but your code base, not so much. Can we just take a step back here for a second? I want you to think about something really important. GitHubRoast.pages.dev is the same level of complexity as friend.com. It literally is just a simple wrapper around Jippity. And that's it. This one unironically raised 1.9 million as far as I can tell and bought this domain for 1.8 million. Actual investments. And the guy is insufferable. Oh, the guy literally called himself Oppenheimer, which produced two very funny effects. The first funny effect are like people going, oh, that guy compared himself to somebody who killed millions of people. It's like, dude, first off, you shouldn't dunk on Oppenheimer, okay? The situation was crazy. And the story behind it is wild. And the man's a literal genius, right? Okay. Let's just, let's take a, let's take away what he was actually saying, which was, he thinks he's as smart as Oppenheimer. Yo, Oppenheimer was a genius, regardless of what he did. This guy made a rapper around chat GPT. Was he though? Okay. How about this one? You guys don't think Oppenheimer was a genius. Fair. If Oppenheimer is not a genius... What does that make you? Because let's be real here. Here's Oppenheimer. Here's you. This is you down here. Sorry. Your brain, your brain is literally smooth as eggs. Honestly, the gap needs to be further. The gap needs to be significantly further. Okay, I'm not saying great things about Oppenheimer, but it's obvious the guy was smart. And to actually think that he was dumb and you're smart, man, please. Like, please. You, I mean... Come on, I know chat, chat, come on, please, you're not going to do this. You're not going to do this, okay? Please don't do that. Please don't do that. Don't, don't, don't be that guy, okay? His IQ is only 135. IQ is, first off, IQ is fake, okay? IQ is like literally fake. You can take an IQ test like four times and boost your IQ, your IQ, 
Okay, IQ is not even hard to get better. You just have to take a test more than once. Come on. My IQ is crayon. There you go. How are you guys? No, IQ is not fake. No, it's not. It's not fake. The test is real. Okay. Tell that to my foreign friend who knows six languages, who's real, real, real smart, can remember a whole bunch of stuff and got a 69 on his IQ test. Literally considered retarded by actual technical definitions. And he is obviously smarter than me. Can memorize languages with no, he can like imbibe languages like I, like I have no idea. He, he learned programming. He's pretty great at programming. He can do like all sorts of stuff. Very, very smart guy. Oh, that's so good. By the way, knowing, a lang knowing languages does not make you smart. Of course it doesn't make you smart, but the rate in which you can learn a language has a clear indication into your, into your cognitive ability. And to say any otherwise is just such a, is such a, is such a, is such a poor explanation. It's a subset of intelligence and pattern matching. And some people's pattern matching can be simply different than your pattern matching. Natural languages. Yes, natural languages. It is pure copium to think that only one form of pattern matching is, is uh, considered intelligence and all other forms aren't. Isn't IQ based on the average uh, of people? So if we're getting stupider over time, doesn't your IQ go up if you stay the same? Yes. Wild. Absolutely wild. The guy with the mustache is right. Guys, don't get bamboozled by IQs, okay? I took an IQ test, and I scored like 150 or some nonsense. It's purely fake. I know who I am, and that's straight up just fake ass, okay? I ain't no 150 genius, okay? I ain't that guy. I I'm a dummy. I'm a pure dummy, okay? Hey, the name is the primogen.